It's the Missouri Credit Union Miracles for Kids Radiothon. Thank you so much. On Y107. It is the Y107 Morning Show. It's Cosmo and Lauren as we are live here at our Missouri Credit Union Miracles for Kids Radiothon 16th Annual. Jackson, grab that microphone off the table there, sir. And welcome to the morning show here on Y107. It's Jackson Morton. He's back. Hey, everybody. What's up? I'm good. What's up? How are you? I'm doing good. You say you're only six foot, but man, you look way taller than six foot. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe it's the shoes I'm wearing. I don't know. <laughs> now, uh, Jackson Morton, two was it two years ago that you were the uh, the twenty two uh, the twenty twenty what year? Tw- three years. Three ago. years three, ago. Yeah, the champion kid. That's correct for yeah. Missouri because that's the older picture that we've got of you here with the medal and everything. And and Jade just got her medal this morning. She's going to be the 2022 champion kid. Is that's awesome? As she just um, found out that after her transplant that she is sickle cell free. So that's Ooh, really awesome. I know, right? And that's got to be a feeling that you know. Yeah. Because you at one point had cancer and then found when you found out cancer free. Right. What's that feel like? Pretty amazing. I, Whenever I got diagnosed, we didn't know how easy it was going to be to treat. We didn't know if it was going to be really tough or it was going to stick around. So after you know one month of chemotherapy, that's kind of your, your most intensive phase right there. And then afterwards, they, they test your bone marrow, see if you have any cancer left. And when they said, you know, I was cancer free, they did, a, they did a special test called like minimum residual disease. And when they did that test and found there was absolutely no cancer left, that was a pretty nice feeling because from then on you know things are going to be you know slightly more easy at least probably quite a bit easier. yeah right yeah. right because you got the cancer free from your leukemia at what age how old were you when that that happened i think i was 13 pretty sure 13 yeah. that's you know there's a lot that 13 year old guys worry about worry about think about whatever <laughs> cancer shouldn't be one of them but to get that that word that uh all clear that's that's huge right no it was awesome yeah so now i know when we first started talking to you years ago after your diagnosis and, and battle through and um you know that you love doing stuff with computers and that's still kind of what you're, you're going to get ready to go off to college right yeah totally there you go still building computers like crazy or whatever or yeah programming? Make, making little stupid apps here and there <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Jackson will be the guy that we all have to pay for our next app. Whenever you go to the store, the app store, and you click buy, that money's just going to go straight to Jackson's pocket. Mom right. hopes so. Mom. Mom, 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 so yeah, give mom the microphone for just a second. <laughs> I, know, I know that when we've talked to you before, when you get that heart-stopping news that mm-hmm. your, your son has leukemia. Yeah. Like it, you can't see, you can't breathe, everything nope. just... just just, just like you can imagine. Yeah. It takes you to the ground for sure. Um, it was, it's a kind of a day we both never will forget. You know, him and I were there together and, and you know, as, as soon as she told us, we kind of both just kind of hit the floor. You remember that day, Jackson? Does it seem like yesterday? <laughs> You could say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we came a long way, you know, three and a half years of treatment. And um, you would never know it by looking at Jackson, how amazing no. he's doing today. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And, and again, not just your own family, but the entire community, the Hallsville School. Oh, man. Everybody just rallied. And I mean, Hallsville's amazing. Uh, it is. <laughs> uh, you, and you see story after story after story. And, and when I knew that we were going to talk to you today, I, it took me back to remembering, because if, if I remember this correctly did your sister shave her head too yes, or she cut did. her hair yes very, she did when you yep. started to lose your hair with chemo yep. she was a cheerleader at hallsville and she she shaved her head i think she was uh 17 16 17 okay, that, yep wow yep that's so. a big deal for a teenage girl to get you know that, that's that's huge support and some other friends did the same thing oh yeah you yeah. probably still owe your sister so, like <laughs> you gotta do the dishes for her or something definitely definitely and she has roommates now so you know they, they might not do their dishes. Right. I have to come over there and help her out. You have to. Yeah. It's your duty. Right. <laughs> Better be careful. You just announced that on a 100,000 watt radio station. Oh, no. <laughs> she, may, she may hold you to that. No wonder he wants to go out of state for college. <laughs> Running from his sister. So he doesn't have to pay her back. No. No. What would... You, oh, man. I, I, if you were to talk to... Let's say there's another a kid like you in the car or, or a mom like your mom uh, listening this morning. Tell them why this hospital is so important to you. I would say one it's it's you know local 
It's an amazing hospital. Um, the staff there, some of the nicest people I've ever met just in general, anywhere in my life. The nurses, they feel like family. They feel like, you know, they make the hospital feel like your home away from home as much as it can be. And I've, you know, as much chemo as I've had and as many, you know, scary experiences I've had in that hospital, it has been... You know, every experience there has been positive because of those nurses and doctors and the staff there that just make you feel comfortable and cared for and all that good stuff. It says something that in describing the worst time of your life, you're saying all great, all good experiences. Totally. That says a lot about the people who work there. Right. And I miss the people back there. Sometimes I think like, oh, I should bring them like a cake or something, bring them some cookies (laughs) because they were just so impactful on my life and they made that whole experience you know a hundred times better than it could have been yeah even when you're in your darkest time in there for three weeks and kidney failure and doing all those platelet tests and ch- right. all that stuff they're there to try you know the, to totally help you play just, mario kart with you we just got a call they said they want three cakes by 10 o'clock <laughs> yeah. so better get on that man you owe the nurses cakes and your sister dishes you, you should not have come right. on the radio. you're like yeah, i'm busy you're committing to a lot of things I really yeah maybe i should like we'll, we'll wrap it up okay he's yeah. giving us the cut signal <laughs> he's our producer now this morning stop well. letting me promise things <laughs> Well, you, oh, there we go. Some more calls coming in. Uh, no nurses. That does not mean the cakes are ready. That's just miracle makers are coming in this morning. Jackson, thank you so much for uh, what you have done with CMN to help other kids. I know in, in your time, not just as the miracle kid, but it, coming back to Radiothon year after year. As a high school senior, there's a lot more things that you could be doing mm-hmm. instead of coming to talk on the radio. So I really appreciate yeah, it's no you problem. Guys doing that. I love to be here to help you guys out, raise some money for the hospital. It's awesome. And you, you give so many kids hope. You know that, right? <laughs> That's really flattering. Thank it's, you. It's got to be true. Right. I mean, imagine when you were there, if there had been an older kid who's like, I went through it. You can get through it. Right. Like, that has to give these kids hope. So thank you for that. Yeah. And I just want to say to those kids who are going through a similar situation, it's scary, but you will make it through. If you, you know, put your mind to it, you have amazing people all around you who are trying to support you. You just, you know, keep a positive attitude the best you can, and and you'll get through it. Awesome. Well, let's uh, make those phone ring right now. We need a bunch of Miracle Makers here before. What time? I don't even know what time it is. It 8:30? is 8.30. We need 32 Miracle Makers in, Ryan. ironically, 32 minutes. Can we do that? Let's make those phones ring right now. 866-970-GIVE. 866-970-4483. You can also text the word MIRACLE to 51555. It'll be matched by A1 containers. Or you can go online. Go to Y107.com.